What's going on? Welcome back. Today we will be talking about enumerating subdomains. So maybe we, we know about enumerating domains and actually, honestly, to be honest with you guys, subdomains is actually, or enumerating subdomains is part of enumerating domains. It is not separable from the fact that when you enumerate a domain, you got, you got to enumerate subdomains. But we will dedicate today's video to enumerating subdomains and the way to do that. So basically, say you're interested only in enumerating subdomains for a specific domain. I know most of you, when you do a pen testing or enumerate a specific domain, you go for enumerating the domains and the subdomains. Totally, I got that. But let's only dedicate that part for subdomains. And this will aid you also in enumerating domains. So basically, um, I'm going to rely on my notes for this video. Uh, of course, if you want to get the notes, as you know, you have to subscribe to the channel membership. I update the notes regularly and actually weekly. I add the notes based on my field experience and based on the things I do. So let's get to it. So today we have um, one domain. The domain that we will enumerate today is hosted in TryHackMe. And the room is actually subdomain enumeration. So today's video will be about generating subdomains. The domain that we will have is tryhackme.com and we will also enumerate um, another one called ACME IP support. So let's get let's get to it. Let's let's get to it. So what is the first thing in enumerating subdomains? So apart from the command line tools, we also can enumerate subdomains relying on certificate logs. So if you go to that site So certificate search is a way to display all of the certificate logs or the certificate request logs that the domain performs to obtain an SSL certificate. Based on that log, you can obtain information about the subdomains, but only the subdomains that have requested to obtain SSL certificate. For example, if we try or if we type tryhackme.com, we will obtain all of the logs, but this is a stipulation, okay, to the fact that, so we will obtain all the logs, as you can see, all the logs of the certificate request for the domain TryHackMe and all of the subdomains that have also requested a certificate or a certificate. We can see here, not only the domain, we see also subdomains, but definitely these are not all the subdomains. It could be all the subdomains, but this is not an exhaustive list since some subdomains are hosted on a private DNS server or hosted internally, and some subdomains don't even have a cert certificate, so you cannot see them in the logs here. Only you see the logs of the domains and the subdomains which requested SSL certificate. <coughs> So part of the question is answering, the first question was answering what domain <coughs> what domain was logged on crt.sh at 2020, 12, 26. So you can take the date and search with it. Uh, 12, 26. Didn't find that. Let's look manually. So on the 12th. Okay, so on the 12th, 26th, we have one subdomain, store.tryhackme.com, requested an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. So that's the first answer. Now, another way to just find subdomains which is using Google Docs. So let me get that one and explain it to you. Normally when you type site www.tryhackme, it will show you all, oh. So here you can see we have only one result because we want to show uh, results where www.tryhackme.com is, oh, actually we need to remove the C here. I think that is, all right, so here we see all of the results where tryhackme.com is the main site in the result. 
what about if you want to see the subdomains? What we can do, we can just use that. So we use hyphen and we type site, we replace domain.com with try hack me. And also we replace the next one. So at the end, you got this one that will display all of the subdomains and will exclude the main domain. All right, with the hyphen. So if I hit enter, I will only have the subdomains that are indexable or indexed. So here, tryhackme has indexed blog.tryhackme and help.tryhackme. That doesn't mean that there is no other subdomains. Of course, there, there is. But here, it is from the Google perspective. It shows you only the subdomains that are indexed into the search engine. So we have help and we have blog. You need blog to answer the next question. Uh, this one. Okay. DNS brute force. Let's talk about DNS brute force. So, DNS brute force is where you have an existing list of predefined subdomains, and you go over that list to see which one uh, the items in the list to see which one returns a valid result. So we. A tool to use that, a tool to accomplish this, is DNS Recon. So DNS Recon is a tool to, to perform subdomain enumeration and domain enumeration. So, so what we can do here, we can type DNS Recon dash D try hack me dot com. It is going to perform general enumeration on the domain, but along the way, we will see all of the subdomains associated with that domain. <clears throat> okay, uh, actually, we have to enumerate for this domain, not try hack me domain. So, replace the domain with this one uh, ACME IT support .thm. You can also do the same by clicking on task bar and click on the view site. So, here try hack me has, or the author of the room has. Um, prepared an active approach to perform the command. So once you hit enter here or um, click on run, you see it will enumerate the subdomains and one subdomain it has displayed is api.acme IP support. Let's get to my tool here and we haven't found anything. So the reason is a timeout error occurred. Please make sure you can reach target DNS servers. All right, because I'm not connected to the network, I'm going to have to connect. So cd back, cd back, cd try hack me, open VPN, we connect to the network, and only then we can enumerate the subdomain because actually the domain is internal, so we have to be in the network. All right, so I'm going to leave this running. Next one. We will use a tool called Sublister. This tool doesn't come shipped with Kali Linux, so we have to download that from GitHub. You can go to uh, Sublister GitHub. Download the tool from this URL. Just sudo git clone, right, and download it. Now you can run that. Let's see what is the tool. So. see the sub lister okay now let's you do that with sub lister so python sub lister and here instead of google i will type the domain shown in the task so it is acme id support Okay, so so far we can use DNS Recon or we can use Sublister for more comprehensive results. If you want to get a thorough, a thorough uh, overview of the domains and the subdomains, you can use Sublister and DNS Recon. If you want to find, find if you want to find only the indexed subdomains, you have you to use the Google Docs, the shortest path. And if you want to find out what are the subdomains. 
uh, to which an SSL certificate is associated or linked. You can use the logs from this link. The last one is this one. So nothing happened here. Let me see here. Do a site. For some reason, I was not able to obtain that, but if you run that from the task, you can run and it will give you the subdomain, which is web55. Okay, the last one is virtual hosts. So where we have to use WF, uh, sorry, WFUF to find the subdomains. So let's break down the command. So, double F U F, all right. And next, what do we do? We specify the word list. Let me make sure the word list does exist in my machine. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just take that. Let me download the sick lists then. Or just to get clone. So we will just mirror or download the uh, word list and then we will be able to execute the command without a hassle. So let's explain the command while the tool is running. So first we define the word list. In this case, the word list is a text file containing possible subdomains. All right. Now, then we define dash h. Dash dash h is the header. So when you send a web server request, all right, it will know which website you are requesting by looking at the header. So this is the header, and it contains something called the host. So we define the host as fuzz.acmeitsupport.thm. Fuzz is the point where the items from the word list will be placed all right so next we define the actual url and then we define dash fs size here we execute all of the responses of the same size okay fine all right let's take the command then Let's see here. So let's change this one to um, here is the machine IP. So we take the IP address from here. And we also got to change the path of the word list. Since the word list actually in the same directory, we will have to remove this part. So we have to just put forward slash dot ah too mess too much mess. So what's the problem now? Is that no such file or directory? CD sick lists. CD discovery, CD DNS. All right, so we have, so the file here, name list, doesn't exist. So you have to select one from here. Ah, oh, name list, it's here. So we have just to change the path in the command. 
so after discovery so after we downloaded the word list now or the directory let's now run the command so here's the command so we define first the word list which is namelist.txt then we define dash h host acme ip support.thm and we define the main server this is the main server and this is the domain that is hosted in the server all right so you have to just here put the IP address of the server, the main server, and then if you suspect that the server is running, or yeah, is running some kind sort of uh, internal subdomains, put the IP of the server in the URL, and here put the subdomain, replace fuzz before the dot, and make sure you put host for this option, which is dash h for dash headers. Now enter. You see we get so many responses with the same size so we will have to exclude that dash fs 200 uh, 2395 now we have got one response delta and yellow two subdomains if we check the, these two subdomains now delta at acme it support thm not exactly server not found how about yellow okay how about if we just go into the IP address itself trying to access that Okay, now if we add let's add the IP itself here oh, no, come on So ACME IT support THM. Now let's try to access this domain. Well, I want without HTTPS. So it worked. Let's try now the, with the subdomains we have just found. Delta is now working. Yellow. Also yellow is not working. Let me check. Let me check out the passage here. So if we type delta and if I type yellow, I get the right answers but I cannot access them in the web server or in the through the web browser since these subdomains are hosted to be opened only internally. All right, that's why we used uh, WFUF to just find these uh, domains or subdomains. They are hosted in virtual, uh, as virtual hosts. So there is no way you can find them online. You have just to use this tool and define the main server and then define in the headers the subdomain you want to or you suspect now the reason we couldn't access these subdomains online because they are hosted internally it means they are uh, hosted as virtual hosts so basically uh, you can't find them online you can't access them online you have to find them through fuzzing only and by defining the main server and then define in the headers that you would like to fuzz for the subdomain and hopefully it will work so that was for today see you in the next video